Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel and today obviously if you couldn't tell by the makeup look and by the thumbnail, um, we will be reviewing the queen herself, young queen of hearts, Miss Bridget. So guys, this is by far one of my favorite looks that I have worn on my channel beyond my Little Mermaid one because <laughs> nothing's topping that. But I added this little bow in my hair and I put on a pink dress. You can't see the full thing, but it's like I have a full dress on and obviously I did my hair. So I just feel really cute. <laughs> and so with that being said, obviously I do have young Queen of Hearts, the Queen Bridget right here. Um, I think that she is very cute, especially that little scene where she says, He's Ursula's baby sister so yeah with that being said um i am definitely so excited to jump into this review because these dolls have been waiting such a long time and i have been nothing more than excited and so i am definitely over the moon to finally jump into these dolls it is played by ruby rose turner here is a photo of the actress outside of um the character and obviously if y'all look up the ruby rock thing you know everybody to the ruby rock hey, hey, hey. but yeah guys she is obviously so cute and i definitely cannot wait to see how bridget became the queen of hearts and what caused her to be evil like i'm so freaking excited so let's go ahead and jump into this review there is a look at bridget in the box as you can see she looks so cute and obviously we have to get into that face y'all this doll is like freaking gorgeous and i remember like when she first came out people were like oh no that may be the ariana glenda doll like y'all know for a damn fact this was not that damn ariana doll let's not anyways obviously her face looks so freaking good like mattel really did their big one like it's funny that these dolls aren't pixelated but yet the little mermaid ones were but i mean i guess that's a story for another day but obviously we have her little tarot reading card um and it says bridget um, young Queen of Hearts, and then obviously we have it in a couple different languages. Obviously we have a picture of Bridget right here, obviously played by the Queen Ruby Rose Turner. Guys, she looks so freaking cute, like I, I can't. And then we have where it says ages four and up, and then it is made by Mattel obviously, and it says Descendants, The Rise of Red. See, just like Red's box, she does have the little heart indentions on the side of the box. So I really think that is a cute detail. I think this may be on all of the boxes. I'm not sure, but for the most part, y'all, I'm so excited for this review. So we turn the doll around. As you can see, we have a full look of Bridget. Um, and she is holding her cute little cupcake. And right here, it says Bridget, Young Queen of Hearts. And it says, bubbly, generous, and sugary sweet, the kindest soul you'll ever meet. Now, that is so damn cute. But <laughs> obviously, here it is. And um, I forgot to take a picture of the red one, but y'all can screenshot and scan these. Let's get into the details. Like, I'm sorry. It's like, even though these are obviously simple yet not simple compared to the other Descendants films, I really, really love her freaking outfit. Like, genuinely okay so with that being said let's go ahead and get her out of the box and here she is out of the box and look at how cute she is oh my goodness y'all let's go ahead and jump into these details obviously here is a good look at her face obviously 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 she looks too damn good as you can see she does have a two-tone pink makeup look as you can see um, it is almost like a cut crease. Um, we have a darker pink in the crease. And then we have a pink on the lid. And we have a cute little bit of blush. I do think that she could have had a little more blush. Just to give her the more pinky rosy cheeks. And then obviously we have a pink lip. Guys, this face. Gosh, she's so freaking pretty. 
as we take a look at her hair she does have um i want to say two shades of pink i would say this beautiful um light pink and then we have this kind of almost hot baby pink um it is very cute obviously because she does have a couple wigs in this movie which i will set a photo right here um and obviously i think this is reminiscent of a specific one on here instead of like one of the darker shades um i think that she looks so freaking cute does have these little flower detailings in her hair obviously that is a little clip so you can remove it if you wish uh, something I did want to mention was obviously she doesn't have any earrings even though right here she's supposed to and her makeup was supposed to be drug out a little more under the eye you guys can see that but yeah her makeup supposed to be drug out a little more under the eye so as I said in my red video let me know if you guys want to see me try to repaint these um I think that'd be a fun little process video especially if you guys were interested in seeing that as we make our way down into her jacket as you can see it is a really really pretty baby pink on this almost like satin like fabric it is very very cute and obviously you can see all the little details that they added like very cute and then we do have this tool this hot pink tool trim which i really adore and then we do have the little flower detailing obviously this in the movie was probably embroidered and real um shit that was added on there and so i do wish just like a little bit that they would have added like little flowers on there even if they had like stitched them on there not necessarily embroidery but like you know like little flowers that they could have just sewn on there for that little extra detail on this side of the jacket we do have this little design going on here and it is plain on the other side it's a better look at that detailing that is going on right there and guys look at her side profile she is kind of gagging like get into it let's go ahead and take a look at her outfit without the jacket so we can get better into those details is a look at her outfit without the jacket so obviously as you can see there is a lot of printed detail going on which I'm not mad at however the detailing that was on the jacket was also supposed to be on here and so I'm kind of curious as to why maybe it was because of this fabric or maybe it was the detailing right here I'm not sure but yeah um that was supposed to be on here as well see this is what I'm talking about once again, they just completely just left that off, which is unfortunate because I think that would have been a really cute detail to have added on this piece. If you look at her necklace, as you can see, it is a gold necklace. Um, I'm probably going to add the little red detailing from her necklace, but overall, it is a very cute piece. I do wish it was a little um, thinner because obviously the necklace that is on her in the movie, obviously it's for a human, but... Um, I do wish it was just a little bit thinner. Here is a closer look. I moved her hair out of the way so y'all can see what it really looks like with the puffy sleeves um, with no curls over it. I really, guys, I'm a slut for puffy sleeves. Like they are just so princessy and so cute and I just really adore them. And so with that being said, obviously you can see obviously the printed detail that was put there. But then we move down to her waist belt. Um, very tried to add obviously all the little knickknacks and chains that were on there um they did forget the little black detailing but then again this is Mattel so I have to give them props where props is due but on the belt no props no child that we have her card skirt guys this is what me and a couple other people were talking about originally we were concerned that like you know the skirt wasn't going to fulfill like they were just going to print it on kind of like what they did with this but they didn't guys they gave us layers like Mattel really put their foot in it with these ones and I'm just curious as to why the quality and detail went into these and not in the Little Mermaid dolls. Have her cute little heart tights. Um, obviously I do wish they were a little tighter um, just for the aesthetic looking of it all. As a look at her boots, they are some cute little red boots with heart details on them and they are just, you know, the classic cute little ankle boots. Here is a look at the outfit without the belt. 
I did just try to remove um, the dress and this is a full piece. Like these are not two separate pieces like I had originally thought. And so obviously like all the way around, it is like one piece and the skirt does not follow onto the back, which is unfortunate, but um, there is a cute little underlining skirt under here, which I thought was really cute. Bridget's accessory is a cute little cupcake. I do wish we would have got like a tray of cupcakes because that's what she was holding in that scene, which I can play for you real quick. She's Ursula's baby sister. Thanks, sure. For all. <laughs> but yeah, so I do wish that we would have got like a tray. Um, I think that that would have been really cute. The uh, details on the cupcake, obviously it looks like a vanilla cupcake with strawberry frosting. And then the plate is hot pink. It was a closer look at her belt. Here is Red and Bridget side by side. As you can see, they are pretty much about the same height. I did have to put Bridget on the stand because for some odd reason mine, and it could be just mine, but um, obviously for those of you who do have Bridget, comment and let me know, is it hard for y'all to like get her to stand by herself? Because I can even have her like bounce against like the wall without her falling. And it may be the curls, but um, it's like one foot is like almost like tilted just a little higher than the other. And obviously, like I said, this could just be mine, but here they are side by side, the Queen Kylie and the Queen Ruby. So, yeah. Those of you who didn't know, like Mattel went with their classic, you know, cartoony style with Bridget and a couple of the others. But when it comes to Red, she's pretty much the only one as of right now that I've seen that has like eyes like that. And so I'm kind of curious as to why. Like she has all those damn lashes and then this one only has like, you know, the pretty ones at the end. Red has like these big ass bug eyes and then she has like the slanted eyes. And I'm just curious as to what made them want to go with the route of making this one look like that and this one look like this. I originally heard, obviously they wanted Red since she is the main character to look more cartoony for marketable reasons. And I'm just like not sold on that because she looks more marketable eye-wise than this one. This one looks almost damn near like a fakey eyes, just in the eyes, not the doll itself. But the eyes, it just looks off on this one versus if she had these eyes. I think that brings the review part to an end. So let's go ahead and close this video off with my final thoughts. So obviously, I will say for the most part, I love the doll truly. I think that this is one of the prettiest dolls, like especially like with her screening and all that. I think that the doll overall is just a very beautiful doll. Obviously, I did say in a couple of those clips what I have wished, which is, you know, like the detailing on like her sleeves and stuff to have been added. And I did wish that her tights were a little tighter. And then her skirt, I wish it was completed around or was completely like two separate pieces, obviously for like, you know, fashion purposes and obviously giving you different choices of what you could pair it with. So that is something that I personally would have changed but overall I think that the Descendants dolls are very promising. I think that obviously I'm not gonna knock Hasbro. I'm really not because I don't think the dolls are completely you know bad. I just think that obviously if they had like better hair quality and it wasn't like Polly and if it was like Saran back in the Descendants days I think that the dolls would have done like way better but with that being said I will always love the original Descendants dolls but these are obviously taking the cake. And something I will say I do like when companies or like cartoons or movies, whatever the case may be, like when the main character goes into like the past or they meet like the younger version of their parent and then they like kind of see what they were like growing up and all that. I think that is such a cool concept, especially because Ever After High did do that. I'm not comparing the two, but it is another franchise that did it. And I was very in love with like Mira Shards, which is obviously the young evil queen. And so I thought that that was a very cute um, concept that they did back then. And I love that this idea is still being brought into, you know, the new. So yeah, but I will say, she is so pretty in like the shades of pink, like this outfit, when you guys see it in person, because camera quality does not do it any justice. When you have this on person and you see how pretty like the shades of pink truly are, it's just like, I don't know guys, it's like, 
holding this and like seeing all the shades of pink that she truly is, especially whenever I get her hair right, I think that this doll will be like up there on like some of the prettiest dolls that I own. So yeah. And so on that note, guys, I truly do love my makeup. Um, I will say that this has just re-sparked my excitement in doing like reviews and truly being dressed up for them again because that is something that I did miss. And so I love that I can get back into my groove. And if you haven't already, like, comment, share, and subscribe. Turn on bell notifications to be notified when I post a new video. And tune in to Disney Plus on July 12th for the premiere of Descendants, The Rise of Red. And if you haven't already, go check out the What's My Name uh, Red version of yeah just go check that out and then check out red by um kylie Cantrell, and it obviously shows a scene from the movie so with that being said as always stay beautiful stay unique and stay mermaids bye guys Mwah.